Let's open up Xcode to see the demo. In this demo, we'll create a new playground and I will name it dictionaries. Okay, I will save it into my developer folder directory as always and we will zoom it to see the whole screen. Okay, the first thing I want to recall some of the array concepts and there's one thing I forgot to tell you in the last video. So let's talk about arrays first. Let's say I have this mutable array. I have apps, which is mail, Spotify, Safari, and let's say I have iTunes. Okay. So these may be the apps that I use the most. Okay. So to access the first element, I use app sub zero. Let's first lamp equals app sub zero. To access the last element inside the array, I use app sub zero, one, two, and three. Let's last lamp equals app sub three. There's another way to do it. I can use last lamp one equals app sub apps dot count minus one. So apps dot count returns the number of elements inside the apps array and apps dot count is the index of the last element inside in the array. Right? So we have apps sub apps dot count minus one is the iTunes. All right. So here's the thing. I forgot to tell you about this in the last video. How about we want to change the value of an element inside this array? Let's say I want to change the value of Spotify into something like um, sketch. Okay, so the syntax to use that is apps sub the index of the element you want to change. This one is one equals sketch. Okay. And if you check it over here, just write apps. And then Playground will very nicely display the whole array for, for us. We have mail sketch. So Spotify ch is changed to sketch. Very good. So here's the challenge for you. Let's change the Safari into, um, what do you like? Chrome, okay? Change Safari, Safari to Chrome, okay? Okay, I hope that you got it. I will use app sub two equals Chrome. And let's display apps. There we have it. Here is Chrome. Okay, so enough for arrays. Let's talk about dictionaries. Dictionaries, okay. How are we going to declare a, an empty dictionary? Let's say I have var empty dictionary equals, I want to have a dictionary with the key of type string and the value is of typed int, okay? Let's say I want to have var um, empty dictionary number two. I want to use this syntax dictionary and string and int okay so they are the same thing just different syntax let's say i want to have the dictionary in the slice we have var apps equals productivity productivity colon keynote comma um social facebook then music, iTunes, okay, that is that, oh, we got an error, because we already have an apps here, so let's say this is app store, okay, so to access the first element, the, to have the um, the value of the key productivity here, I can do something like apps store sub or let optional app equals app store sub productivity. Okay. 
and let's check so we have some keynote so this is an optional and it does contain some value and it is some it's not keynote alone it is some keynote okay in order to do that we have to use if let actual at equals optional at okay and inside this if statement we have the actual app, we have the keynote. Okay, to show you that, I will use the print line function here. I use actual print line actual app. And it will print over here, keynote. Okay, but if it's nil, then I will print line never have it. Okay. So let me uh, go over it again. We have optional app is app store sub productivity. If this is an actual value, it is not nil. The productivity key is actually inside this dictionary. Then we will print line it. Else we will print never heard of it. Okay. So let's have the example that we will access some key that doesn't exist inside this dictionary. Okay. Let's optional um, apps all at that optional equals app store or we can optional dev that developer equals app store sub developer okay and indeed this is nil so this is the first state of optional okay so we have to check if let actual dev equals optional tab then we will do something else we will open line never heard of it okay we'll copy those change app to dev okay so it does print never heard of it because this is nil so it would ignore this part and jump to the else okay so let's say I have this app store again, right? Let's say I have this app store and I want to add the developer app. Okay, how am I going to do that? I will use app store sub developer. Okay, equals Xcode. And then I have the app store. Here will be a new value inserted to the dictionary okay so we have developer xcode okay let's have some more app store so let's say we have browser equals uh, safari okay and then the app store here will have browser to be safari okay so if you notice one thing over here we declare productivity is the first thing and then social and Facebook is the second key value pair. Music and iTunes is the last pair. And then we in we insert the developer Xcode key value pair inside this app store dictionary. Why is it not insert to the fourth element to the fourth key value pair inside here? Well, that's a good question because the dictionary is an unordered list. Okay, if you see it over here, we have this, I'm sorry. So we have this is not in that order, right? We have social Facebook before music, iTunes, but it actually inside the computer, inside the memory, social and Facebook is after music and iTunes. Why is that? Well, it has to, it has to be uh, related to the, re the way that they build the dictionary, okay? Uh, if you are familiar with Java or C++, it's called something like hash table or hash map. So this is that thing, okay? So we can add more elements now. Let's say I want to delete the social Facebook. Let's say I want to delete that. I will use something like app store sub social, the key social. Okay, equals nil. Then I will delete it. Let's say 
I think. There you go. We don't have social or Facebook anymore. Okay, so that's the demo about dictionary and array. Before we end the demo, actually we end it, but before we end it, I want to talk about array and dictionary. As you, you know that array is an ordered list and dictionary is an un unordered list. So why we, in what case we want to use array? In what case we want to use dictionary? So with the case of array, you could use it anytime you want to store some data that is ordered, okay? And you want to some way you can access those ordered data by the index. With dictionary, you want to an unordered list. We can fastly access it with a key, okay? It will make some more sense in future courses when we actually deal with a lot of data and with each project, with each situation, with each problem, we will have to use different data structure. Okay, so that's that's it for today. Coming up is a challenge and it will be very awesome. Check out the challenge document in the downloadable files. Okay, and coming up in the next lecture, we will talk about control flow. It is the ultimate imp of ultimate importance in any program. It is the horsepower of any program that you see, whether it is the most the most simple program or is the most complicated program. We have to use control flow. Okay, so until next time, see you then. Thank you.